Hey sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Michaela Barnhart and I will be a first year second grade teacher in the fall. Today's video is all classroom prep. All right guys, so I have you set up on a little like photo keeper box. <laughs> so apologize for this like weird angle. What is up with my hair right now? Anyways, I'm super excited because today's video is going to be all classroom prep. We're starting today. I don't know how many days I'm going to take this over because obviously we're doing it vlog style, but I'm not going to show you my like entire day. I'm just going to show you the parts where I'm prepping for my classroom. So what we're about to do right now is I spent a ton of time yesterday and I'll flip you guys around and show you everything in just a second, but I want to kind of explain first. I spent a ton of time this past week, like yesterday, the day before, prepping for classroom and I made all of these little like stem boxes. Um, I have a ton of them, but I went today and bought a ton more stuff. I'm going to do a classroom haul at some point in time. Just don't know when that's going to be um, a, like an updated one of all of the stuff I got because I also got like borders and like paper and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's coming. Just don't know when. Anyways, though, I am going to right now finish working on filling all of my like empty things with STEM activities and I got some new STEM activities or like some that I found so I need to kind of like figure out what I'm going to do with all that. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to turn you guys around though for just a second and kind of explain what I have going on and show you the current state of my office because it's literally terrible with classroom prep but either way let's do it. Okay so I thought I would start with the state of my office. So that is like where I do most of my work at. You can see I have my little mini erasers over there. I finished filling those up. I have an empty photo creeper there that's going to be like for task cards. I have stuff over there, a trash bag. That's all full of classroom stuff. Both of those are full of books. That is full of books. There's books there. And then both of these bins are full of books. So we have lots of books. And then I have all this stuff. So this is all from today. Stuff I've purchased. That down there is from like either today or a teacher store that we went to at the beach. That is a book bag that I'm going to use this year. So, we're just having a hot mess. There's also stuff over here. And then uh, there's stuff over there for classroom. Stuff down there for classroom. We're just all over the place. But, this is what we're working on right now. So, the other day, like I was telling you guys, I filled this photo keeper up. Well, all the way, almost. I have two empty ones. But, I put these little, like, disc things you can build with in a few of these. Like, I just split them up into some. I have some connects. Um, I have three of those. And then, go back in there. I have five boxes of these Legos. But, when I did these, I thought that this, like, I bought one of these little flat things to go with each so they would have somewhere to build, like, on top of. Um, definitely not necessarily this necessary, but I wanted it. So I thought they would fit in here, but they won't. So today I went back and bought the bigger size and I'm thinking they're going to fit in here. So my first task is going to be to take these and all these and empty them into this bin. And then I think I'm also going to be able to fit my straw constructors into these bigger ones because they won't fit in these. So I have this box and then I have one more box somewhere. It looks like they're in there. Um, so I have a total of 12 of these little photo things in these boxes. Hopefully that'll be enough. And then once I get all of this emptied out and have my little boxes free, I'm going to split these bags of these little things from the Target dollar spot. Um, I'm going to split those up into those. So I'm going to prop you guys back up and get to work.
Okay, let me zoom out. So currently this thing is completely filled with stem bins. So I have that one. This one also is almost filled. There's one empty box right here at the front. So what I'm about to do is try, actually I might try to get this sticker off really quick. Um, but anyways, I need to try and see if these guys are going to fit in here. I also think I'm missing some stem activities. I have some of those little hashtag block things. And I don't know where they're at. I've went through everything, but there's a ton of straw things in here and you just kind of use these little like tic-tac-toe looking things to build stuff. So I'm going to kind of split those up into this one as well as the other little box like this that I have down there. So that's what we're going to do next and then we'll be done with the STEM activities for now until I can find the rest of them and then we're going to move on to the next thing which is exciting. Okay, so what I've got right now, like I said, that one back there, this big bin is completely filled with stem. This whole bin, all of these have the little straw things in them. I didn't really know what to do because there wasn't enough connectors. Um, so I have all of these straws left over and I don't really know what to do with them. I guess I'll just find somewhere to store them and then like if straws get broken or bent or whatever, then I can kind of trade them out. Anyways, over here... All of these are full of Legos except for this one. So I think to make my just organizational heart happy, I'll probably go back to the dollar store and get some more of the little packs of Legos and the little like gray plate thing and make one more of those. So what I'm going to do right now is peel this label off, put these guys, I guess I'll put them back into the box. I don't really know what else to do with them. It came with this cute little drawstring bag. Also, let me flip you guys around really quick. Okay, so I also have these little like Ziploc like thicker plastic Ziploc things. I don't really know how sturdy they would be like I mean they seem to zip pretty well, but um, I think I might put some up. Uh, I wonder if these will fit in here actually Yes, they do fit. Okay, I'm gonna put these in here while we chat, but I was wondering wonder like what I can do with these I have two of them left So I obviously want to keep them because they are sturdier um, I just don't really know what I'm going to use them for. So, anyways, I mean, I guess, like, stuff like this, like, just random storage, they definitely work well for, for that. But, while we're chatting, I wanted to kind of tell you about our next project. This is not going as well as I thought it would. Um, I am going to, I picked up more of the photo containers. Um, I did not know this, but I always heard people, why is this not working? Okay, I'm going to put a pause on that. Anyways, I always heard of people getting the photo containers, and I can show you what I'm talking about. These guys right here. Um, they It's like a big box. They come with like 16 or something like that. 17 maybe. No, definitely 16. Um, little like 4 by 6 photo containers. They're perfect size to make like base 10 blocks, um, like to organize those or to make stem bins or task card bins, whatever. Anyways, I always heard of people getting them from Michaels. So, my mom and I went out a while back and she, for graduation, bought me a lot of stuff that I wanted for my classroom, like bigger 
not bigger ticket items, but stuff that was a little bit more expensive that I just hadn't purchased. So she got me two of the like Michael's 10 drawer rolly carts, as well as two of the photo keepers. I knew I needed more than two because I had so many ideas on what I wanted to use them for, but I did not want to spend what Michael's asked for them because they were like $35, I think, or something like that, maybe $30 a piece at my Michael's. And that was not on sale. That was full price. But I found them at Hobby Lobby, the exact same thing, four by six photo keepers for $15 a box. And that's when they're not on sale. Like not on sale at Hobby Lobby, they're $15 a box. Now, if you know Hobby Lobby well, they put stuff on sale a lot. So if you go in there and it's during a sale time when they have sale like organizational items and stuff, you can get it for like 50% off or something like that. So we like that. Anyways, all that to say, if you want some of those, you don't have to spend what Michael says to spend, go to Hobby Lobby on a good week, even on a bad week, they're still cheaper. But I did that today. I got, I now have a total of one, two, three, four, five of them. So the one that you guys are propped up against, like I said, is stem bins. I have one that is full of class coupons. Um, and then I have one that I'm going to put task cards in and two that I'm about to make math kits in. So my thought is I have um, some, where are they at? They're down there, but I have some like little packs of dominoes from the dollar store. So I'm gonna put a pack of dominoes in each. I'm gonna put two dice in each, some red and yellow counters, however many I can split out. I think I have enough to make like 25 packs and do like 10 in each maybe. I'm not sure, I have to count again, but that's my plan for that. And then I also thought about printing and laminating some like little clocks and little digital clocks because that's a second grade standard in South Carolina um, or anything else that I can think that might like help my second graders or, you know, that's something they can benefit from and have it all in a little kit with all like everything labeled with their number. So that way I feel like everything would be a lot more organized. I wouldn't have to hand out all these materials every time I want us to use them. They can go get their kit and they'll be ready to go. And if like stuff goes missing, it would only impact the student who lost it. Uh, so like if let's say number three, like lost all their dice, I could say, okay, well, where did they go? You know, we could have a discussion about how you have to keep up with your stuff or whatever. Um, instead of just realizing like way down the road that we have lost dice down the road or whatever. Um, I don't know. I thought it would be better to do it that way. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to finish putting these straws into this little bag. They fit pretty perfectly. I actually like that. Um, I think they're all going to fit very nicely. So I'm going to finish putting them in here and then we are going to move on and make the math bins. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys really quickly what we're going to do. I have all of my photo keepers out, so I will need an entire box plus these right here to make 25. That's kind of my number I'm going off of for everything. Obviously, I don't know how many kids I'll have this year, but I'm making like 25 of everything or trying to make sure that I have 25 of what I need. Um, but anyways, we're going to um, divide these up. I have 400 of them because there's 200 in each pack. But these are just the two-toned yellow count, yellow and red counters. I use these a ton in my internship, so I know like a lot of things we can use those for. And then these I got from my dollar store. They are just like just teeny tiny little dominoes. Um, so we could use them to play games or like actually play dominoes or use them for math. So I'm going to put a box in each kid's thing. And then, like I said, I also have dice. I can't find those right now. So when I find those, I'm going to put two dice in here and then we'll just kind of print and laminate some stuff, but I'll kind of keep you guys updated on what I put in here. And then of course throughout the year, how everything works out. So I'm going to flip you guys around and kind of do a little, another montage of me working through this.
time today. <laughs> Took me literally like two minutes to get you guys propped up somewhere right now. Um, anyways, so it's obviously several days later. I look different now. I'm put together. But anyways, it is now Tuesday, June 29th. I started this video last week, so it's whatever. Um, I haven't done anything though since I talked to you guys last for the most part. So I did finish up the math bins that you guys just saw me putting together. I was not able to find my die this weekend, so I'm going to have to go buy new ones, which is fine, whatever. Um, I also still need to go to Dollar General or Dollar Tree and get one more set of the Lego things so I can fill up that bin of all Legos. Yeah, I think that's kind of an update of where we were at. Anyways, I did get my office cleaned up over the weekend and organized, which I didn't show you guys. Um, mainly because it wasn't all classroom prep. Like I just cleaned and like dusted and moved everything around. Um, so I'll show you guys that in just a second, but let me go ahead and actually pick you up. So looks a lot nicer in here now. Um, still obviously a lot of stuff, but what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> so right now, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it. These bins right here, that one is completely filled to the brim with books. And so is that one. I also have books in that bin down there. Those are more like leveled readers for guided reading that were given to me. Um, so I just have to sticker them. I have most of them stickered already. And by that, I mean putting my name in them, uh, but I ran out of sticker paper. And then I also have that blue bin. It's completely filled with books. So that blue bin and those two totes over here are for my classroom library. And then, like I said, I have the leveled readers that will be like just for guided reading. Um, I also got some new books. So I got a stack. I think I have like five or no, it looks like there's six. I cannot hold you guys like that. Let's put you back. This should be fun. Can I get you back up here? Okay. Um, a family member of ours sent me a stack of pigeon, like the Mo Williams um, pigeon driving the bus and all that kind of stuff. Um, they sent me six of those and then our class is a family as a book. Um, I'm going to show all of them in the classroom haul soon because I've gotten a ton more stuff for my classroom since my last haul video, but I did get those. So those need to still be stickered. Um, what I'm about to do right now, I think is I can either continue printing and laminating, which I don't really have a ton to do. I'm trying to wait till I get my teacher toolbox to finish up that because I have all of my alphabet printed and my schedule cards printed. I just need to finish laminating them. Most of it's already laminated. There's just a few things left. And then I need to print my teacher toolbox, get that put together whenever I get the actual toolbox. So I'm kind of just waiting to see on that one. And then what else? Let me look in my notebook. I know there's other things. I just can't remember what else is on my to-do list. I did get a text. I don't know if I shared this already. I guess not because this was yesterday. I got a text yesterday from my principal saying that the custodians will hopefully be cleaning my room this week so that hopefully next week I can start actually moving in and setting up. Um, but anyways, on my to-do list for things to print and laminate, I still need to laminate my schedule cards and my alphabet line. I need to print and make up my teacher toolbox. Um, I also want to get some of those little crayon boxes. They're like snack containers from the Dollar Tree and use those for crayons. So when I get those, I'm going to put numbers on them to label them. Um, I also need to label these little things. This is like a sneak peek for the classroom haul, but I got these at Target this weekend. I went and hit up the Target dollar spot because mine. Did you guys just see something in the hallway? Okay, I'm back. I rewatched this that little clip to see if there was anything standing in the hallway because I swear out of the corner of my eye in my like camera or on my phone, I saw something right here. There was nothing there, so I don't know what it was. Side note, we've been having like not issues, but like hearing random sounds in our house and stuff, and so it just creeps me out a little bit. Anyways, we're gonna move on with life and pretend like that didn't just happen. But I found these little things at the Target dollar spot this weekend. I went and hit it up because my um, Target has started. They don't have a ton in the Target dollar spot for teachers yet, but they've started to put things out. So I was able to get pretty good deals this weekend from the Target dollar spot, which I will share again in a classroom haul soon. Um, anyways, these little things are like, they're little money pouches, basically. Um, I guess they had like a sticker or a paper in them that had like pictures of like pens and pencils. So I guess you could use it as like a pencil pouch, but it's basically just a little thing. And then it has this little rubber band thing. So you can tuck the lid closed or whatever, the little like 
flap. Um, but my plan for this is I have made um, a lot of classroom cash. So I have $1, I think I have $5. Yeah, I have $1, $5, $10, and $20. And then I also have all of my classroom coupons printed and laminated and ready to go. So my thought is I'm going to number each one of these. And this will be the student's pouch to keep up with their coupons and their cash that they've spent or whatever they're collecting if they're saving up for something so that everybody has a spot. Um, I want to laminate them, though, because I know that will be an issue if I don't laminate them. Somebody will end up taking somebody else's or whatever. I'm just trying to figure out... Obviously, I'll probably do it in black vinyl because I don't know what other color I would do it in. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to put it because I feel like with it being clear with these black stripes, if I put a number on it, it might be hard to see. So we're just going to have to kind of play around with it and see what works out. But I got a ton of those. So that's on my to-do list as well. Um, and then numbering the crayon boxes is on the to-do list. And oh, book bin labels. I have book bins. I got... Um, which I'll again show them in haul. I don't know why I keep saying that. Anyways, I have book bins for like picture books, like the, you know, taller skinny book bins. Um, and then I also have book bins on the way from Amazon for chapter books or bigger books. Um, so I thought about trying to go ahead and lay all of my books out and stack them based on like what they are, like topics, like nonfiction animals, fiction animal books or whatever, uh, weather books, that kind of stuff. Um, but I don't know if I want to do that yet just because I'm thinking that that would be a good project to do in my classroom so that I can stack them up and instantly put them in a thing and put them on the shelf and label it and be done versus if I do it now, I would have to stack them and then find a way to keep them like together in that organized like thing, even though I have to put them back into a bin. So I think I'm going to wait on that one. I don't think it, that's going to be a project that I'm going to do at home, but other than that, I need to get that stuff printed and laminated. I still need to go through all of the stuff that I was given from another second grade teacher and reorganize all of it into my own binders so that I can be a little more ease in thought. I like all of my binders to be the same color and she has like white and black and blue binders. So I also don't know if I'm going to keep everything. So I just want to go through it, organize everything by standard and put it into binders for myself. So that's kind of what I need to do. I think what I'm going to work on right now, I don't have a ton of time. So I think I'm going to continue laminating really quick and get everything that I have laminated or printed, laminated, see if there's anything else I need to print and then probably pause on classroom setup for right now until I get back later. I have a doctor's appointment today and then Jeremiah and I are going shopping for some things for vacation Bible school at my church. Some like decor type stuff for the bulletin boards. Um, so I'll probably pick back up tomorrow with trying to actually get everything organized into the binder. So that is the plan for right now. I'm going to quit babbling, sit you guys up somewhere and get to laminating. Okay, so all of my alphabet things are finished. Isn't it so cute? I just love, love, love this. But I have all those laminated. Everything is ready to go. So those are ready to just be hung up. Now I finished laminating all of my schedule cards. So I'm going to go through and just cut them out. Um, some of the lamination like really messed up and I don't know what happened. Like this one rolled over. I don't think it's going to bother the actual card, but I don't know what happened there. So I'm going to put these away really quick and then cut these out with my little cutty thing. And we'll see what time it is to go from there. Right now it is 1.55. So we'll kind of have to see where we're at after that.
Okay, so I finished my schedule cards and put everything away, and I just sat down and kind of redid my to-do list as well as a little to-buy list. This down here just has some like authors or series that I want to get for my library eventually, but not something that I'm like super worried about getting right now. Um, I've just heard that these are good things for second grade, so that's why I have that list. And then up here, I just have a to-do list and a to-buy list, so you can read it obviously, but just several things that I need to get finished. Um, before I like kind of run out of things I can do here at home. And then this is just stuff that I want to get. Some of it's like the lanyard and stuff is just for me personally, but then most of that is stuff for in general. The only thing is a lot of what's on my to-do list depends on when I get that, like teacher toolbox. I've got to get the toolbox first. I've got to get crayon boxes and supply bins before I can make the labels for them. So a lot of what's on my list over here is either really quick, easy stuff like printing out something like bright work coming soon so I can put it on our like wow work wall. Um, so it's either going to be easy, like quick stuff, or it's something I've got to wait on. So right now, though, Jeremiah is on his way home, so I'm going to call it quits. Let me turn you guys around really quick, actually. Okay, so like I was saying, Jeremiah is on his way home now, so he actually got off early. It's not, it's right at two o'clock. Um, so I'm about to just go kind of call it quits in here for now. I'm gonna check up on a couple things outside of classwork um, and then just wait on him to get home. So that's gonna be it for today. I'll probably pick you guys back up tomorrow though and keep on rolling with all of this stuff. All right guys, so it is the next day. Obviously it is now Wednesday, June 30th. Yeah, June 30th. Um, so right now I'm about to, I just finished like editing some videos and working on some stuff for that. So right now I'm going to, I think, make my meet the teacher paper or at least start it. Uh-oh, that's going to fall. Um, so I think I'm going to do that today and then I might go ahead and start organizing all those worksheets and stuff. And that's probably going to be the last thing that I'll show on this vlog. Um, a lot of what I have on my to-do list now, I'm just waiting to get like my teacher toolbox so I can make that, some crayon boxes, supply bins the rest of my book bins and stuff like that so that I can make all those labels. So it's not really something I can do now that will probably just be part of classroom setup at this point. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna finish out this video with the last few things that I can actually do on my to-do list and then we'll just kind of have to wait for classroom setup to start to see the rest. So I'm going to get right into it today and not waste any time. I'm gonna turn you guys around and get started. Okay, so I just finished up what I was working on. Oops, sorry, you can see my hand. Um, you guys saw me find this on Teachers Pay Teachers for free. I just printed 25 copies of it um, so I can hang that like on our wow work for, you know, coming soon or whatever. So I just thought that was cute. So I just printed all 25 and those are ready to go. I also made my meet the teacher. I have all these little things from where I was covering things up that I didn't want to share. Um, but I wanted to try to cover up what I could and let you guys read what I wrote. Um, if you're interested, I know that like when I was making this just now, I used a lot of what other people had wrote and like read through what they wrote and got ideas about what I wanted to say about myself. Um, since this is my first time doing it, so I thought it might be interesting for you. But basically, I just have my favorites down here. Hobby shopping. We love that. Um, I have my email. My like school email is right there for the contact me. Then I just did a picture of me and Jeremiah. Meet Miss Barnhart. Welcome to second grade. And then I did my about me. So that is what we've got. So right now I'm going to put this away. Put this away for now. Um, I'm not going to print the rest of these yet because I haven't actually gotten my school email. Um, all of our emails are the same. It's like the first initial of your first name and then your last name and then at. And then the rest of the stuff is like specific to the school. So um I pretty well can guess what mine's going to be because it's the same for everybody, but I just want to make sure before I actually print a whole bunch of these papers with that. So I am going to have to print these at home though, because 
we can't print in color at school, I don't think. Everything we printed last year was in black, um, black and white. So I'll have to do that here at home. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and check that off my list. So I did check off bright work already. So right now we're just going to check off meet the teacher paper. So let's see, what time is it? Let me close this pen and see what time it is. Do, do, do. It is 12, 12. So I think I'm going to pause and go eat lunch. And then I might, I'm trying to see what else. I have to wait on all that stuff and that. I can try to find some early finishers. I think my plan for early finishers is going to be to do um, some like color by the number, simple addition and subtraction for back to school. Um, just to have at the beginning of the school year, whether it's either for early finishes or just as like something I need, like if we need to fill some time or something. Um, I also am thinking about making a sub binder. I'm just not quite sure what all to put in that yet. Um, so I'll probably work on early finishers today and organizing these worksheets and leave these other two things. Um, routines and procedures, all I want to do is kind of write down what I want to teach the kids or like what I think is most important for the first few days of school. Um, so yeah, that's that. Anyways, though, I'm going to go ahead and pause and eat lunch, and then I'll catch back up with you guys. Okay, so I'm back from eating lunch. I've actually gotten a lot done outside of classroom prep, so that's really good. What I'm about to do right now is try to set you guys up on the tripod again where you can see my computer and search through Teachers Pay Teachers for some early finisher activities and just like some of those things that I can use for the beginning of the school year. Um, so that's what I'm going to do right now. And then we'll just kind of see, I might end the vlog after that because only other thing that I have left I wanted to show in this vlog or that I want to do soon is organizing all of that stuff. I'm pointing back there to those binders. I'm going to organize everything into those binders, but I feel like that's not going to be something very interesting to watch and that's going to take me a lot of time to go through all those. So I probably will put on a video or something to do that. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do this and we'll just kind of see what we want to do after that. show you guys I printed what I printed first we'll start here so I printed this pack um, I can show you who it's from on oh, teachers pay teachers I think it was like three dollars yeah it was three dollars it's color by number back to school addition and subtraction and it's just like basic like one digit by one digit addition and same thing for subtraction or like you know small attraction subtraction attraction whatever um Anyway, so I just wanted to show you that it is from Amanda Garcia. I love her page on Teachers Pay Teachers. It's one I found recently um, and I like hearted it or whatever so I can remember that I like that one. She has a lot of color by sum and difference as well as multiplication and division ones um, and then just other fun things. So that I got and I printed one of each of these. So I think I'm going to go back now and make copies of some of them or I might, I probably will honestly just keep these and wait until the beginning of the school because I'm starting to get tired of wasting my own printer ink and stuff. Obviously anything in color I have to print at home but I can print this at school, like just copy it and make several copies of each. Um, so I don't know if I'll use these as like 
I printed them thinking early finisher activities in case we need them, but I honestly will use them for that or like I might use one for just to have something for the kids to do on the first day of school, like when they come in, this be on their desk or something. Um, just something simple because this is simple addition, so it should be okay for everybody. Um, they should be able to give it their best shot and it'll let me see kind of where they're at and what they do know um, as long as they get this. So that's kind of my thought. They are cute. They're just like back to school things. You have a glue and a pencil and like little apples and stuff. So super cute. Um, so I'll either use it for that early finisher or just like if we need to fill some time somewhere, I'll have these just in case. Um, I also printed or I didn't print these. Um, I actually kind of made a little boo-boo, I guess. I purchased this kit or this little bundle. Um, which I actually really, really like. I went ahead and followed this person as well. So it's Busy Me Plus 3, Alicia Satterwhite. So I followed her because she has a lot of stuff I really like. But I thought this was going to be geared towards like end of first grade coming into second grade. But it's end of year review for second grade. I didn't read that when I first got it. So I did purchase it. Um, and I like it. It has a lot of stuff in it. Um, so I'm going to obviously probably print it at some point and just kind of keep up with it until the end of the year and we'll have to kind of go from there so we shall see but anyways I'm gonna find somewhere to put these I'm gonna take early finishers off my list and then we'll chit chat all right guys so I got all that stuff put away I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the classroom prep prep vlog here because I'm sure it's getting very long at this point so if you guys have any questions or comments um, leave them in the comment section below. I'm also very curious to know what, if you're a teacher, what are you doing to get, and get prepared for the next school year? Um, so definitely leave that stuff in the comments below. I feel like there was something else. Oh, if you find any first year teacher on YouTube or Instagram, drop them in the comments too, because I just love finding other people that I can grow with. So I've said that before. If you can find other people, then leave them down below if you think I would be interested. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you can stick around for all the classroom setup videos to come, which are going to be so fun and so exciting. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye guys.